Hi, today we're gonna make a natural deodorant with a recipe from Renegade Beauty. Um, and it's really kind of a simple recipe here and we're just gonna make this here if you wanna follow along. We are gonna get this. You've got the instructions here. So yeah, the, I guess this is one of the final stuff, the containers. We just have these little containers that we're putting them in. And um, this is a fractionated coconut oil, or they call it an MCT oil, also baking soda, and we've got some essential oils, tea tree, lavender, this is the French lavender, and um, tea tree antibacterial. So I'm going to try this recipe here and just do the measurements, maybe Maybe you can read read sure. the first ingredient and then I'll put it together. <laughs> All right, 60 milliliters of baking soda. Okay, so that would be the yeah, one tablespoon, 60 milliliters, okay. So that is going to be one of these. There's the math. There's the math. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Okay, <clears throat> 30 milliliters of coconut oil. Okay. 30 milliliters, and two of these. They called for liquefied coconut oil, so this is a fractionated coconut oil. If you had the thick kind, you'd have to um, warm it up and melt it so that you could blend it. Okay, so we've got that, and now what's this the next? 30 drops of lavender chamomile. Oh, chamomile. Okay, <clears throat> chamomile. so chamomile. Rosemary. Okay, those are um, choices of oils that you can put in there. Um, it's 30 drops, so it could be a combination. So let's say we want to do out of 30, maybe I'll do half lavender because this smells prettier. These are antibacterial, but they don't really smell as pretty. Just, just saying like a lot of the, the more medicinal oils smell kind of Maybe a little stronger, like with the menthol or camphor. They're, they're strong smelling, but they're necessary in the blend because you want to combat the odor. So you want something that's going to kill the bacteria. So um, 15, let's say I'll just split them between these two, the, the rosemary and uh, the tea tree. So this is my combination. Um, you want to mention the other oils that are on the list. Rosemary, um, Palmers, Palmarosa, mm -hmm. thyme, and spruce. Okay, Palmarosa, thyme. Okay, thyme, I would personally take that one off my list because it's too potentially irritating. So, um, Rosemary is also another good one that's similar to thyme, but not as sensitizing as thyme. So I think we're good with a little bit lesser of this than the, um, the tea tree. Let's come out fast. So <laughs> you may not be exact, but um, if you're making a bigger batch, you can formulate it to like the weight of it, but this is just a small batch, so we're gonna just put a few in here and see about. Well, this one's a little thicker. Okay, when it's thicker, it's a lot easier to control, but some of these oils are Thinner. very thin. <coughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have some oils at my house that some of them like come out so fast, and the other ones I'm like, oh my god. I'm just gonna whisk it. I think this is 
but that's blending. Oh, you can see it's getting kind of thick. So I think it smells good though. You want to smell mm. it? Mm. It does, yeah. I can tell this is going to be refreshing. Oh, that's you great. Put it on. You're okay. going to get that <clears throat> yeah, aromatherapy very, effect. Invigorating. invigorating. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is pretty good. So we're just doing a small um, sample batch. I would say for anything to just start with a small batch. That way, if, if you mess up, <laughs> you're not wasting a lot a of ingredients. Of products, yeah. And uh, you know, just kind of. If it works out, you're writing it down and you can recreate it, but um, make sure you write everything down that you do. So it's just a good idea. <laughs> so you don't forget what you did, know what you did. Uh, I think this is pretty well blended. I think this is probably the right consistency. It's kind of thick. So you just put, take a little bit of this and put it under your arms after you get out of the shower. So um, Patricia has a different blend that she wants to use, but we need to get a different ingredient, an additional ingredient, and then we'll try that one. But for now, this is just a, kind of an easy one. And I had every ingredient for this, so got it here. And I think it, it might, I don't know, it might, get a little bit thicker possibly if it I don't know after some time goes by it could change the texture and if you want it to be thicker or harder that's where we would add shea butter um, we could add the arrowroot part powder and let's see the beeswax, the beeswax. The yeah the beeswax is gonna it, that's gonna make it a lot harder so if you wanted a you know, but people use also those liquid antiperspirants. Those are kind of watery mm -hmm. too. So yeah. there's different. I, I, I guess. feel like I don't know. I guess because you wouldn't really need a lot, probably. Yeah. Because it wouldn't spread on you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just a. It's a diff. There's different textures, consistencies of it. So I guess the thing to do would just whatever your preference is. You know, you can try out a few different mm -hmm. ones and see see what you like here um we just have some little containers here so how many can we get i'm thinking these are maybe 10 milliliters in each one i'm not sure we'll see what how many we can fit i'm guessing like maybe maybe we can each get one of these <laughs> yeah. so um Actually, this this consistency really isn't isn't that bad. I mean, it's not it's not like terribly thin. It's just not super thick. But I think it's gonna work pretty well. It's not a, even a matter of the consistency. What is actually <coughs> making this work? The active ingredients are the essential oils. Basically, the mm -hmm. the other ingredients are just a carrier for them. So. You can give this to give this to my mom. Give it to your mom. I have a sensitivity to baking soda, so it irritates my skin. I can't use it. I can try, but it won't go well. I probably yeah. am gonna try it though. Good. Just, to, just to try you it. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe this then I'll be for okay real for know. Yeah, then you can test and you'll know. Is so it something I'm gonna else? I'm going to try a little bit, but I'm not going to be surprised if it burns. Okay. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. But I am yeah, going to try can, a little you bit. You can try. Not, I'll see. give it to my mom. And, uh, and then we too. can go from there and try another recipe. So. Yeah. I'm going to order. I'm just going to order it. It's pretty easy. Yeah, this yeah, is this very, is like it's very so easy. easy. Yeah, I just, I've never made it, but. Three ingredients. Yeah, this is the easiest well, one of. I found. Like I said, we can try other variations and test them out. And, you know, but sometimes I find that the simplest things are the best. Like sometimes just simple things work, like simple ingredients. So, you know, we'll give it a try. I've been using natural deodorants for <laughs> a very mm -hmm. long time. so. I'll test it out too and see, 
how it goes versus yeah. the other ones. And we'll let and you know. And that's a super popular thing in 